This week I've got Gloria Bell, which is based on the film Gloria, which are both by the same director, Sebastian Lelio. And this one is an English remake. It stars Julianne Moore, who is fabulous in everything. So I understand why you would revisit the same material. And apparently if it's very similar to the original, I actually had not seen the original. So this was like seeing a fresh movie for me. So it's Julianne Moore as Gloria Bell, who's like a middle-aged woman just kind of going through life. And I feel like this is one of those ones where things are more passive than I'd care for in a movie. She's, I think it did a great job of capturing the passive experience that a lot of women probably feel in their lives of being a passenger instead of a driver and not necessarily being the force that makes the decisions. You're just kind of the recipient of fate. In that sense, it was accurate, but also kind of a weird trip to be along with. And as someone who gets like frustrated by that type of behavior, I'm like, hey, I just want you to do something. I want you to take control. I want you to be you. And there are breakthrough moments like that. But, I, you know, it's one of those weird things where you give it credit for accurately capturing something. But it's like, this is what I experience in my everyday life. I don't know if I want to dedicate my time in a theater to experiencing this again. Like, I want something more out of it, right? We go to the movies to escape, not to live through the monotony of our everyday lives. It also stars John Turturro as a romantic lead, which is kind of a bizarre thing. He's not someone you really picture as a romance. And I'm like, Julianne Moore is so out of his league, but, but it kind of pulls it off. Michael Sarah, Brad Garrett, Rita Wilson, and Sean Astin has a little cameo. Overall, I think it's a pretty accurate portrait of what, I'm not there yet, but what I'd imagine middle-aged life is like for a woman. Uh, you know, it's kind of sad that a woman of Julianne Moore's beauty is playing a character like this because it's like, well, if she can't succeed, what the hell chance do the rest of us have? But overall, like, I, I feel like I wanted a little bit more out of it. If you're a fan of films that are more of a sketch of a character's life than a plot-driven thing, this might be for you, uh, but I'm going to give it 3.7 out of 5.